Welcome our beloved audience to yet another episode. This time episode 35, we will be speaking about something that is very, very special to our hearts. That is about leadership. As you know, this is something we've been talking about. It's part of the brand we have on this because we set this episode out to help you, especially if you're an aspiring coach or consultant, to understand why it's important for you to have strong leadership skills. And on this episode, as usual, I'd like to welcome you in this special episode where we plan to take your leadership to the next level. And especially from the point of view of why you as a coach and consultant need it, need to develop your best in this area. And without really taking anything in the area of leadership for granted. Because if you do, yeah. then you are going to have consequences that you don't like. And as we will be discussing today. So as usual, I'd like to welcome and thank my co-founder, co-host, called Shilpa Joshi. Take Hello. it away from here. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much, Dr. Gerald. And it's a pleasure being here always. Yes. And yes, today's episode is very special, but before that, um, I would like to be expressing our gratitude and appreciate our listeners and our viewers for Lead Talk Podcast and yes. Lead Talk TV on YouTube. Mm. And thank you for encouraging us to create the most powerful episodes we ever have done, yes. episode by episode again and again. But I would also like you to request all our viewers and audience to go back and listen to our previous episode in case you have missed any of them. Yes. Because for every episode, we make sure that we do a thorough research and bring yes. to you only what we have experienced and what worked for us mm -hmm. so that you don't have to waste your time and effort in trial and error mode. Yes. Right? Also go back and listen to some of the recent episodes like building coaching consulting business that thrives creating your unique selling proposition as a coach and consultant, yes. developing growth mindset as a new beginner coach and consultant. Yes. Why personal branding is a powerful strategy for coaches and consultants. Yes. And not to mention as special bonuses, our all previous episodes and guests have for you. And also a gentle reminder to take out only 53 seconds for yes. a very powerful five question questionnaire and as a gratitude we will share with you a very special bonus for taking those 53 seconds out for us so it's a request please go and fill up that questionnaire having yes. said that today we are going to have a very special episode which is leadership skills for aspiring coaches and consultant and this is an area which is very close to our heart as you know our name of our podcast is Lead Talk. So we always tell you to stop following and start leading. And it is all about leadership. Yes. So what do you, Dr. Jedi, the expert? Oh, yes. I thank that. Thank <laughs> you for that very elaborate introduction and very kind words as well. Yeah. Like we say, leadership is very critical, right? And this episode, we will be diving a little bit on why leadership is important. As Coach Silpa says, leadership is critical component yes. for any business. Yes. And coaching and consulting business is no exception. Because as long yes. as you're in the world of business, you have to emerge and develop your leadership and management skills. So as an aspiring coach or consultant, you need to have strong leadership skills in order to build trust and rapport with your clients. Yes. Also, this helps you to communicate effectively because how can you be in business when you cannot communicate with your clients, with your team? Mm -hmm. How about being able to provide guidance and support? These are critically important. And so having very well-defined and accelerated growth in your leadership journey is very, very important for you to have so that you continue to grow. So in a way, Coach Silpa, you would say that developing strong leadership skills is crucial for the success of the coach consultant. Sure. And as we were talking behind the stage, um, just before we started this episode, 
In this episode, we'll discuss the importance of developing a strong leadership skills. For you, our listener, who is focusing on building a successful coaching consulting business. And we will also share with you practical skills, practical strategies that you can actually use right away to start developing your leadership skills. But before we get to talking about that, let us begin with our tradition. Yes. It is usually to start every episode with a quote. And this week, the quote of this week comes from Simon Sinek, who is one of the leadership established authorities. And I quote, leadership is not about being in charge. Mm -hmm. It's about taking care of those in your charge. Wow, that's brilliant. Read it again. Yes. Simon Sinek says, leadership is not being, it's not about being in charge. Mm. Rather, it's about taking care of those in your charge. So try. So what this means, as a coach, as a consultant, you are going to have teams. You are going to be in charge of your client. You are going to be in charge of your team. The question then, as Simon Sinek is saying, are you taking care of those people? Are you building them? That is something we'd like you to, as you listen to us, we'd like you to reflect on so that you can go to the next level. Now, Coach Shilpa, we have established why we are here today. Now, now that we've kind of established all this important information, um, can you explain to us why developing strong leadership capabilities is vital for coaches and consultants so that they can really begin to have an expanded view? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, we always uh, think like coaches and consultants, they think some of them, they think themselves as solopreneurs or, mm. you know, uh, the people who are working in a very nuclear way. Mm. However, you will always be scaling and you will always have your teams. It could be an outsourced team, your own team, or it could be also working with your clients, as you said, and you have to lead them, mm. right? That's why leadership skills are one of the crucial skills. And I would say it's not only just a skill, but kind of an attitude. Mm -hmm. Every coach and consultant need to adopt. And the importance of strong leadership is always highlighted. Mm -hmm. So I will just talk about the few of them, why leadership capability is very, very critical for being coach and consultant. Yes. So firstly, leadership skill enables coaches and consultant to build that trust and rapport with clients, which is very essential for establishing successful coaching, consulting, mentoring relationship. Yeah. Because clients need to feel that their coach, their mentor, their consultant is someone they can rely on, has a capability to lead them. Yes, That's when they will start listening and following them and their advice and take guidance and support whenever needed. Mm -hmm. What would happen when you when you as a coach and consultant is a leader who can give them that trust that, yes, I can lead you, follow me. They become in a very safe zone so that they can become vulnerable with you, share their challenges with you so that in real world, you can help them. True. Secondly, leadership skill enable coaches and consultants to communicate very effectively with their clients. Why? Because effective communication is a key essential to understanding clients' needs and then providing a feedback. It is not a generic feedback which can help you keep in a high ticket space. It's a very mm -hmm. specific feedback. And you can give a client relevant feedback only when you understand their needs. Yeah. And that can only happen when the communication channel is very open and very transparent. Mm -hmm. right? And that would help your clients to achieve their goals also eliminate the roadblocks whenever it's coming in their way. Yeah. So coaches and consultants and mentors with very strong communication skills are well equipped to ask insightful, powerful questions, mm -hmm. how to provide a constructive feedback or even a guidance or how to lead them in the right direction so that they can help their clients to stay on a track and progress consistently. Yeah, makes sense. 
And the third one is leadership skill enables coaches and consultants to think creatively and strategically. This is more important when it comes to uh, the critical and intuitive areas like problem solving or helping them look in the right direction so that they can overcome the challenge and have a new perspective about their challenges. Mm. Coaches and consultants with strong leadership skills are more equipped and more capable to identify the opportunities, identify the problems, the mm. problem beneath the problems, and then come up with an innovative solution or help their client to come up with an innovative solution using their leadership skills yeah. so that they can help client build their self-confidence as well as get results faster. Yeah. And finally, having great leadership skill helps coaches and consultants and mentors to lead by example because nobody just follows words. People mm. follow you. People follow your action. People follow your results. Right. So that's when you lead by example. Client would look up to you, mm. their coaches, their mentors, their consultant as a role model. And having a strong leadership skill helps coaches and consultants to inspire their clients mm -hmm. to be their best selves. That's when client can think for themselves and create better results for them, taking complete ownership. So wow. I think that is why uh, having a great leadership skill, leading by example, and having the attributes of a great leader is most essential for all coaches and consultants, Dr. Jirai. Wow, wow. I like the fact that you've you've really explained why, like four important reasons why every yes. coach, every consultant needs to pay attention to developing these strong leadership capabilities. Now I yes. want to look, I want to take us a little bit um mm -hmm. on explaining what are some of the key leadership skills that uh, aspiring coaches, especially aspiring coaches and consultants yeah. need to develop because... Actually, that was my next question because yes. it is also about how and what exactly they need to do. Exactly. So now let's talk about what do they need to do? And then after that, we are going to we go to your second part of the question that says, okay, now that these are the things you need to get, what? Mm. how can I get, where would I go, where do I need to go, right? So yeah. what is what I'm going to discuss, right? Now, the mm -hmm. first what, what kind of leadership skill, number one, yeah. and the most important as a coach consultant is effective communication skills. Yes. Because you remember, coaching a consultant is largely a service, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. means you have to get to the mind and heart of your clients. True. And what better skill can you use to get to the mind and heart of your client. No other skill. It is communication. communication. Exactly. So it's very, very important that you need to develop this skill. You should be able to listen to your clients actively, ask insightful questions, provide feedback in a way that is clear, that's concise, and be able to listen to the things the client is not saying. I remember in one of the episodes, I think Coach Shilpa, you mentioned, when we're speaking to clients, we need to be able to hear what the client is not saying, mm. which they should be saying, right? And sure. as a coach, as a consultant, we need to see what is written in between the lines. What is the client experiencing? How is she or he coping with the new challenges in the business? And so all that can come to fruition if you develop your communication skills. So this is very important. The yeah, second... and this also, yes, uh, just to yeah. add a point, uh, uh, sorry to interrupt, but yes. when you say communication skill and you brought a very specific point, right? Mm. Listen to what is not even being said because people think communication is speaking, speaking, speaking. Yes. Or how you talk or how you communicate, but it is also how you receive communication. Exactly. So that's, that's really a, a great point as a leader. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, good. I like that. And and just you mentioning that makes me also to build on that point a little bit. So hmm. as a leader, as a coach consultant, you need to realize communication is always two-way. 
it is listening and it is talking so it mm. is from another person coming to you and from you going to another person and you can do this either by listening by observing and vice versa so all these are very critical points now the second what leadership skill is about empathy now empathy is something that many people think is actually coming from a point of weakness how far from the truth could that be <laughs> now to be an effective coach and consultant you need to be able to put yourself in your client's shoes and be able to effectively understand their perspective you see yes, yes. in life coach silpas we 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 have all these experiences talking to different clients from around the world we know the perspective of a client is their reality right yes yes so as a coach as a consultant how can you help your clients if you cannot come from their perspective mm -hmm. you're wasting time your time their time and so it's very very important to be able to have empathy to be able to be compassionate to be able to build rapport and to be able to trust your clients if you can do that then that's going to be absolutely good so this is something that we like always to make sure that your clients are up to speed with and the third important skill coach shilpa is that of problem solving mm -hmm. now coaching and consulting practices are all about helping clients overcome challenges and achieve their goals now to do this you need to have strong problem solving skills and to be able to think creatively and strategically mm. now thinking strategically and thinking creatively are important elements of leadership and so this is why we encourage you to be able to develop your leadership skills especially in the area of problem solving because clients pay you because they see you somehow as a solution to their problem so if you cannot solve the problem yeah. of what use will you be to them yeah right so that that can be pretty challenging and then another important skill of leadership and management is that of self awareness now yeah. that goes in the area of emotional intelligence now as a leader mm. it's important to have a strong sense of self awareness if i do mm. not know myself as coach gerard how can i help you coach it but how can i help any client out there it will be difficult right so it's important i need to understand my own strength my own weakness and to be able to identify areas of improvement so that i can be able to help clients and finally the fifth important point important skill in the area of leadership and management is that of integrity now why is integrity important you may mm. say um i mean you may say but leadership uh, consulting coaching why is integrity important now this is very critical because as a coach a consultant you need to be a person of integrity yes reason being you have to be committed to doing the very best for your clients nobody is going to come to you if they know you are going to fleece them if they know you are going to you cannot be trusted because people yeah. come with your to use with their business problems with their personal problems which you should be able to help them navigate and so being a person of integrity helps you to demonstrate your honesty your transparency and your level of ethical interactions so that yeah. way people can trust you and really open their hearts if they may to you yeah and i love that point because unless and until there is an integrity and alignment in what you say and what you do mm. you are not going to build that trust as a leader and if people don't trust you maybe at some time in a corporate organization or maybe in some formal structure they may have to accept you as a leader mm. but in their mind they accept you as a leader only when they see the integrity exactly 
so that that's really fantastic and i loved all the aspects of you know leadership why those aspects of leadership will be helpful to coaches and consultants to get better best results for their clients yeah. and having said that since you have explained this five key leadership skills they should have let us talk talk about how this leadership skills can be developed like few simple quick tips from our side so yes. with your permission i'll go ahead dr jira go ahead okay so this is what we have seen for ourselves and it's coming from our own experience as well right this yes. this particular four things right so first one is as a coach and consultant you know you first seek out mentorship and guidance and experience that leadership from other coaches and consultant who can be your mentors yeah. so this will help you learn from your experience and develop your own leadership skills because your mentor can also point out what is that you need to develop as your leadership skill in which particular area you need to scale up in which particular area you need to strengthen your some of the attributes as a leader Mm. it could be giving a very straight and frank feedback to your clients or holding your clients accountable or developing certain habits and rituals as leader right yeah. for your client second is attend leadership you know any particular workshop or seminar but choose very carefully whom you are learning from because yeah. his journey has to resonate with you yeah. so choose carefully but attend some of those and learn about the latest trends best practices in leadership and uh, we have a best uh, source with us dr gerald you can reach out to us so that he can also have a guidance for your leadership challenges yeah. third read there are you know people say that when you read a book it is actually somebody's decade or decades of experience and learning True. so find such leadership books and read them or articles for your deeper understanding because sometimes some thoughts may trigger that leadership instinct in you yeah right? so use this resources for you and last but not the least practice 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 your leadership skills every day in your personal life and professional life because you are finally the one person right so unless and until you have self leadership you can lead yourself you can't lead others so very soon i'll request dr gerald that we should come up with something on self leadership because he has a mastery on that yeah. so that self leadership before leading others can also be a great thing to do so this could mean volunteering to lead for a project maybe in your current work or volunteering for some kind of a result which you have still not got for your client or mm. taking on a leadership role wherever you are right now maybe in a family situation maybe in your community maybe in your profession so practice leadership skills because only that can strengthen your leadership muscle right so this is from my side dr jiral so over to you for summarizing and taking this forward wow i i i love this i i love the last part where you say practice 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 right this is absolutely wonderful yes so in summary i would like to say that for you to be successful as a coach consultant in the area of leadership you need to realize from today going forward that leadership skills are very essential and they help you to build a successful practice as a coach as a consultant as a business owner and by developing some of these important skills such as communication skills such as empathy such as problem solving skills such as self awareness and integrity yes. you will be well on your way to becoming successful coach and consultant and business owner because yes. these five skills plus a few others that we'll be discussing with you in the coming months and, and and episodes will help to give a strong background for your leadership skills so that you will be successful in your business of coaching and consulting and also one of the key things as coach silver mentioned is that for you to develop these skills of communication of empathy of problem solving and self awareness and integrity you need help from other people these skills don't just show up right they don't show up nobody is born with them really 
So this is where you need to seek mentorship. And this is where we come. This is where Impact Valley Community comes in, right? Because we are here to serve you in your journey of mentorship so that we can show you the road because we've been blessed to have almost combined five decades of leadership experience. <laughs> yes. That is something, half a century, right? of leadership experience. And, and this is in private sector, this is in governmental sector and in, in different kinds of businesses. And so both uh, profit and non-profit organizations and all that. So we can bring a lot of light to you. So if you're struggling with the, with the area of leadership, definitely reach out to us. And also in addition to the mentorship as Coach Shilta mentioned, there are useful workshops out there, conferences. See who is your mentor, okay? Who could be your mentor? Who is giving information? Reach out to such uh, organizations, such opportunities, and, and, and attend those kind of conferences. And also read literature that, that would support your, um, your leadership development. In the coming days, we will be putting some of the recommended readings as a coach consultant so that you can up your leadership skills. Also, look out to a leadership program that is coming up. We will be um, giving you more details um, so that you can really become a pro and practice yeah. and practice and practice, as Coach Silver mentioned, because it is only through practice that you can become a pro, right? So having said that, Coach Silver, can you give us more information so that our audience can know how yes. to find us? Yes, absolutely. So for any questions or anything you want to share with us, it could be your success story, it could be your desire to show up on Lead Talk podcast, or it mm -hmm. could be you wanting us to help you to take your journey forward at a speed, reach out to us at leadtalkpodcast at the red gmail.com mm -hmm. or connect with the Impact Valley. Connect at the red the Impact Valley at the red gmail.com. The, a member of our team will reach out to you. We'll post both the addresses in the information as well. Mm -hmm. Member of our team will reach out to you and understand what exactly is your need. What is that we need to design for you mm -hmm. and what how potentially we can help you yeah. in those areas of your life. We can also do this one-on-one -on -one or we also are launching our group program for high impact coach and consultant launch pad. Mm -hmm. And we should be informing you Firstly, as a priority, because you have been our loyal audience all this while and supported us. So you will be the first one to know about that. And stay tuned for more information on that. Having said that, I thank you once again for being here. And mm. I request Dr. Gerard for closing today's podcast. Absolutely. So again, thank you, Coach Silpa, for mentioning. So we've got the High Impact Coaching Program coming. And again, I'd like to reiterate that this is a, a program for professional people, yeah, experts, people who have demonstrated their expertise in the office by serving clients under somebody's business. And now you feel time has come when you need to be your own boss. You need to create your own business. And so we would like to work with you to show you the ropes of how you can take those years. Some of you are 50 years, some of you are 30 years, some of you are 10, some of you are five years. It doesn't matter how long the experience is. As long yes. as it is solid experience, people have paid you for it. We want, you, we want to help you to transform that experience into being a coach, into being a consultant so that you can be able to serve the communities now building your own business building you other sources of income. And so we'd like to invite you again, write to theimpactvalley at gmail.com so that we can really serve you. We can send additional resources to you so that we can help you. And so we also want to invite you to read and download other resources that we are going to put below this episode to make your journey in leadership successful, to make your career transition successful as you are transitioning from being an expert, employed expert, to being employed self expert, serving as yes. a coach consultant so that you can build your coaching consulting business and be successful. 
And if you need to this episode, we ask you to download, we ask you to subscribe, and also share this with your family and friends and people of like mind who are interested in joining other communities in leadership, in career transition, and also in coaching and um, consulting business. So we are here to help you navigate, to become a better leader, to become a successful coach and consultant, and most importantly, to help you scale your business so that you can create the impact and significance you want. It's one thing wanting something, but it's another getting it. And so here we we would like to stand in the space for you to help navigate you in this journey. So we invite you to make 2023 a defining year for you so that it can become the best year ever for you. We are excited to present this episode to you. I would like to see you in the next episode. Bye for now. Bye. Thank you. Bye.